Now, wind farms always make great photographs, in my humble opinion. And this afternoon, we're going to try and get a couple of photographs of the Tiapati wind farm near Palmerston North. While I'm driving over the Saddle Road, I thought, too good an opportunity. We've got clear skies, late afternoon light, and I'm going to shoot some infrared, black and white, because <laughs> why not? It's just absolutely perfect for these conditions. I'm using the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its 850 nanometer infrared modified black and white sensor. <laughs> and to be honest, I just can't get enough of this camera. I'm loving it. Uh, 14 millimeter, 21 millimeter equivalent lens on there. Nice and wide, get plenty in there. The road's quite busy at the moment, so I'm just gonna kind of dodge up the hills, pull in every opportunity that I can, get some photographs of some of the turbines there doing their thing. If you shoot the turbines on a high speed, they look like they just stood there. If you've got too slow a shutter speed on there, it just looks like a stick because obviously, you know, the turbines are going too fast to capture on the camera. So you've got to get a fine balance between motion and no motion. You want a little bit of motion blurred in there just to show that the turbines are actually working and not a static subject. And the black and white infrared really does stand out. It's gorgeous. All right, let's push on, get a few more photographs as we go along. First shot I want to take is this one with the tyres in here, and it, uh, it looks quite nice actually. Oh, I love that. I might just jump this fence, get a little bit closer into these tyres, because there's a foreground interest against the uh, against the turbines. It looks pretty cool. I love the tyres. Just adjust it up a little bit like that. So that, nice little fence line leading up to the turbine, and I think that might make a nice photograph, if I can fit it in. It's going to have to be a vertical on the 21mm, but I think, I think I may just be able to squeeze it in. Let's give it a go. The 14mm, 21mm equivalent lens managed to fit everything in horizontally, and uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. On the back of the camera, that's probably my favourite photograph, actually.
days like this, photography's still got to be done. But the infrared, honestly, it's just it's just opened up a whole new world. And uh, today, case in point, absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do it because everybody else does it and it seems to help them. So I, I hate doing it. I hate doing this. If you enjoyed this content, give me a like and a subscribe. It doesn't cost you a cent, but it helps me out somehow. I don't know how, but it's supposed to help me out. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. And, uh, and I'll catch you on a future episode. Look after yourselves. Keep shooting.